Hello very good morning and welcome to Adavan newspaper highlights. Today is Thursday 25th of August 2016. This is Edward today the author was a guy employee with the highlights of today's English newspapers. As usual we have three newspapers for the highlights. Daily Mirror, Daily News and it's long today. Firstly let's have a look on the Daily Mirror. The main headline says Still missing. Police seek public help to find the abducted businessman. Body recovered in Mawanella believed to be of missing businessman. A man's body believed to be that of the missing businessman Muhammad Sakim Sulaiman was found on the Hemadagam road in Rukulakama in Mawanella yesterday evening. Police sources said the police yesterday released to the media a picture of the 29-year-old Muhammad Sakim Sulaiman, a businessman who went missing last Sunday night seeking public assistance. Earthquakes rock Myanmar and Italy. A powerful 6.8 magnitude earthquake struck central Myanmar Wednesday, killing at least 3 people and damaging some 60 pagodas in the famous ancient city of Bagan, officials said. The quake, which the US Geological Survey said hit at a depth of 84 kilometers, was also felt across neighboring Thailand, India, and Bangladesh. sending panicked residents rushing onto the streets 2 billion dollars of black money leaves the country black money to the extent of 2 billion us dollars had gone out of sri lanka annually minister of public enterprise development kabir hasim informed parliament yesterday amaradunga says northern pc doesn't cooperate Christian Affairs, Tourism Development and Lands Minister John Amartunga yesterday complained that the Northern Provincial Council did not cooperate with the government in any development projects. Joy to demand immediate elections. The joint opposition would today press a proposal in parliament demanding immediate local government elections which has been already delayed by one year and three months, the joint opposition said yesterday. Secondly let's move to daily news. The main headline says Tajuddin murder case telephone records at PS erased. Statement given to CID by Presidential Additional Secretary. The Criminal Investigation Department conducting investigations into murder of former rugby player Wasim Tajuddin yesterday informed Colombo Additional Magistrate Nishant Pires through a report that the telephone records on calls made from the Presidential Secretariat to the then Narahinpeta OAC Damian Pereira on the day that Tajuddin's death took place have been erased. Code of Conduct for Police Unveiled A code of conduct for the officers in the police department drawn by the National Police Commission was unveiled at the Police Crimes Division yesterday. Copies of the code of conduct were handed over to Law and Order and Southern Development Minister Sagal Ratnayake and IGP Pujit Jayasundara. CID told to take action against elephant racketeers. The Criminal Investigation Department had been instructed to take legal action against those wildlife department officers who are involved in elephant rackets. Sustainable Development and Wildlife Minister Gamini Jayavikrama Pereira said yesterday. Finally let's move to Ceylon today. The main headline says No Indian industrial zones in Trinco. Prime Minister Ranil Wickremesinghe assured Parliament yesterday that there has been no agreement to establish a special Indian industrial zone adjoining the Tringomalli port or in the Tringomalli district. The Prime Minister made this statement in response to a question raised by JVP MP Bimal Ratnayake during the oral questions session at yesterday's sitting in Parliament. 5 million rupees rewarded for abducted millionaire. Sulaiman Saki, father of abducted millionaire businessman Muhammad Sulaiman, says he will offer a reward of 5 million rupees to anyone who is able to provide any information leading to the whereabouts of his missing son. Cabinet approves the National Information Center in a bid to provide complete, reliable and accurate official information. to the public through a centralized system the cabinet yesterday endorsed a proposal tabled by prime minister ranil wickremesinghe to establish a national information center fraud in 4 billion rupees waste water project anonymous call sets off probe 
The Financial Crimes Investigation Division informed the Chief Magistrate's Court in Colombo yesterday that they will be conducting investigations into alleged large-scale financial frauds in the execution of the waste water project of the Colombo city, which was being carried out on a 4,000 million rupees line of credit from the Asian Development Bank. Police also told court that the probe was launched in response to an anonymous complaint received by the Inspector General of Police. Everest Queen honored, given role to champion women's rights. Minister of Women and Child Affairs Chantrani Bandar yesterday appointed Jayanti Kuru Uttampala, who was the first Sri Lankan to reach the summit of Mount Everest as the brand ambassador for the protection of women's rights in the country. With that, let's come to an end of today's paper highlights. We will come with more news tomorrow morning. Thanks for listening to other newspaper highlights.